Today we are here with Jim Campbell and Barbara Perry from the Y Parish and we're going to talk about the 14th annual Books Cafe. Can you tell us a little bit more about that event? Well yes, it, it has as you say been going on for 14 years and it's grown every year to the point where we are now offering about 20,000 books uh, over a sale that extends for eight days last week in February and the first week in March. And I think the unique feature of the sale, aside from the, aside from the size of it, is that all the books we offer are at 90% off of cover price. So there is literally nowhere that you can get good books at as low prices as we offer. And who does this event benefit? Well, it benefits the, uh, the church. Uh, we have a couple of historic buildings that are quite costly to maintain in suitable form, and we also um, benefit a number of local organizations, uh, principally through the vehicle of the Episcopal Church Women, the ECW, which gets some of the proceeds from this sale, then uh, makes various uses of those proceeds, including supporting a number of worthy uh, local charities. And what kind of books can people find at the sale? Just about anything from nautical books to cookbooks to garden books and fiction, uh, paperback fiction or hardback fiction. Um, you name it, you can find it. They're classics. Uh, we don't have any encyclopedias. They don't seem to be popular anymore now that uh, you can go online and find anything. <laughs> no, no college textbooks. Okay. But p p anything that people would like to read today, yeah. you, you can find there. And how are, have you two been involved in this event? Well, I've been in, I think both of us have been involved in it since the beginning. And the beginning was 14 years ago when this event was really just one table at I believe the uh, parish's Christmas Bazaar. And the, the bazaar got big enough to the point where they didn't want to give us a table. And we were getting big enough to the, to the point where we didn't want to be confined to a table. So. Um, with the inspiration particularly of Joan Hennessy, who was in a sense the founder of this uh, whole event. We moved to a separate date. We picked a gloomy winter time to do this when people wouldn't be distracted by things like uh, walking in the woods or planting their gardens. And so we've always done it at this time of the year. And Joan gave it the name Books Cafe because when people came to the event that this arose out of, they could get books, but they could also get good food from the kitchen and the rest of it. And so Joan decided that we ought to not only sell books, but we also ought to offer um, treats and snacks and soups. And, and that's actually Barbara's department. You started that whole thing off. Actually, originally it was books and brunch. And we, we started out and we had egg casseroles and macaroni and cheese and different things like that, but somehow it grew into what we are today, which is the cafe, and we have all homemade soups and chili and chili dogs and Smith Island cake, and all of these are made by our parish members, and as you, we do have extra little, if you just want to have a cup of coffee and a cookie, we have those too that you can pick up, and, and the children come after school, and they really like the the little snacks that we have, uh, even some popcorn things. So, yeah, there's something for everybody. Yeah, actually that makes me think one of the features of the um, event is we have a separate children's room, which actually my wife is, as we speak, working and sorting the books on. But we have a great selection of children's books, which includes um, also things that people use in homeschooling, as well as the classics, the Harry Potters and the rest of it. Um, and we, um, the other thing I would say about the books is that um, we sort them all. In other words, we have a huge, as Barbara's suggesting, we have a huge selection of, of fiction, hardcover, softcover, modern fiction, classics, and it's all sorted alphabetically. So that if you want to go in and look for Nora Roberts, you know right where to go real quick to see a whole range of her books. And that's one of the things that takes a lot of volunteer time. Again, as we speak, there are people over at St. Luke's. We're now, what, maybe 10 days away from the beginning of the sale, and they're, they're sorting thousands, literally thousands, of, uh, of works of fiction in hardcover and softcover. And if someone wanted to find this information, is there somewhere they could go online or find 
find this information? Well, we've got we've got a bunch of posters up. Okay. We've got um, I think we've got some information about the sale now up we, on the parish website. Maybe we as, can hope. I we can hope. <laughs> we never know. We never know quite know about that. Yeah, we should. But I okay. think I think that the parish website whyparish.org has now got a notice about it. But uh, more people will probably learn about the sale by watching this interview that you're doing here than by going to our website. Okay. So I'll just stress again that the sale is at St. Luke's Chapel mm -hmm. in Queenstown, Main and Dudley Streets. It starts Thursday through Sunday, February 25 to February 28. Then we have a little pause and we restock and we get ready for a second week of another four days, uh, Thursday through Sunday, March 3 through 6. And 10 to 6 every day? And 10, Each to, day. 10 to 6 every day. Okay, right. awesome. Well, thank you both we so can, much for coming in. I was going to say, we can yep. tell you that it's something that people look forward to. Once you've been there, they look forward to coming back each year, and they know that it'll be the first, at least the first weekend in March, mm -hmm. and they're there. And as Jim said, they're restocking all the time, so they don't just come once. They'll come the first day, they'll come back the third day. Because there's more or books. Something like that, right. And the books are really, and these are not just sort of library discards. These are books that are donated by people who bought them, read them once, and then they, they give them to us. And so as a result, you can get a $23 hardcover uh, work by David Baldacci, and you get it from us for $2.30. And it's a good, clean copy. We, over the years, the quality of the books has markedly increased. And so right now, we are offering a huge proportion of the stock is essentially new books. So it's, it's, it's good deal. Pe people, people do come back. Okay. Well, thank you both so much for coming in and we look forward to your event. Well, thank you.